Hi folks, Steve the Hurricane Weiss here and I'm going to talk to you today about promotional items. Now every single business owner has to spend hundreds, even thousands of dollars a year on promotional items and they can be very costly way to not get any business. So you want to make sure that you're getting your return on investment. Now before I go over some of my most successful promotional items and campaigns over the years, I want to go over four items that were terrible. Okay, first. The tricolor highlighter. This thing flopped like no other. I was begging people, please take my tricolor highlighter. I threw them like a Ninja Star, which is kind of cool, but other than that, nobody wanted them, so I don't recommend these. Second, lunch boxes. Lunch boxes are good if somebody brings lunch to work, but nowadays most people either work through lunch. People are bringing in lunch and learns, or people go out with their friends and their colleagues, so it's very unlikely that somebody's going to bring lunch to work. So the lunchbox I don't think is a good idea in that respect, because many times they'll take it, give it to their child to bring it to school, and a care choice lunchbox isn't really that awesome, so I can't see a kid taking this to school, they're going to throw it in the trash, not worth it. Unless you can tie it into some event that you're doing, I would stay away from lunchboxes. The next thing was the care choice pill box. Now, this was something that we got to give out to our referral sources. The problem is most of the referral sources aren't taking many pills, so to have a pill plan that's Monday through Sunday with three, four times a day pill slots, it's really not a good item for that. We ordered so many of these, these were like five or six dollars a piece, so we spent a lot of money on them on top of it, and we ended up giving it to our clients, which in turn came out to be a great thing to give every one of our clients. We continued to buy it for our clients, but if you're buying items to give to people who can give you clients, pill boxes are not the way to go. The last item that I would not use is a stress reliever ball. Now this one right here, this guy is really cute, he's an elephant. I actually borrowed the idea from a hospital event that I went to for the Alzheimer's Association. Elephants never forget, so hence the elephant. I tied this up, made a promotion with it, don't forget care choice, we won't forget you. And I gave this out to everybody, and everybody liked them, they're cute, they gave it to their kids to play with, or they kept it on their desk. The problem with this stress reliever is that the elephant was here, somebody had a little house here, somebody had a ball, a heart, a star, and other stress relievers all lined up on their desk, and it was overwhelming. And it doesn't really stand out. So even though the elephant got remembered, there are so many other ones that people are giving out, I'd avoid the stress reliever balls. Now my three favorite items are these here. First, you have pens. I absolutely love pens. Not the expensive dollar, two dollar ones, okay? You don't need to get those unless you're going to give it to a physician or something. And even still, you don't have to because a lot of people lose pens. So save the money. Don't get the expensive ones. Get the cheap ones. Each of these pens costs less than 30 cents a piece when you order thousands of them, okay? My favorite one happens to be the cheapest one, which is this one right here. Cost me 19 cents a pen when I order 10,000 of them. 10,000 pens last me around a year. So I had one year's worth of promotional items for $1,900. Now the reason why I like pens so much, especially in the healthcare industry, is because everybody needs pens. When you're giving out a pen, make sure that it's black ink, because for medical records it has to be in black ink. So make sure you, you get the black pens, don't get the blue pens, because you're going to give them away and people are going to, they're not going to use them, alright? But anyway, with the pens, I would walk into hospitals, subacute rehab centers, and every single person I came in contact with, I gave two pens. I'd give them to the clients, I'd, or, or to patients, I'd give them to the patients' families, I'd give them to the receptionists, to the cooks, the maintenance staff, I'd give it to the CNAs, the directors of nursing, the social workers, the unit managers, the discharge planners, the administration, I gave them to everybody. I flooded my buildings with these pens every single time I went there. Now, after a while, I became known as the pen guy, so people would come running up to me for pens, which is great. Also, too, my pens were all over the place, so chances are, if somebody comes to sign into the place, they're going to sign in using my pen. If somebody's at a care conference meeting and they're talking with a social worker who's referring my company, they're going to probably take notes with my pen. They go home, they have three or four brochures, and they're going to call those different companies to set up an appointment to meet. If they're holding my pen in their hand, they're probably going to call me first. When I meet with the families and I'm talking to them, they're sitting there and they're like, huh, I know your company from somewhere. Where do I know your company from? And I would say to them, you're holding my pen in your hand. Oh, that's right. Now, even though it's just a pen, they feel that they knew me, they feel they knew my company because they were holding my pen, who do you think they ended up signing up with? Me. Care choice. Pens are awesome. Give them out. Okay? And they're cheap. 
The next item, ice scrapers. I love ice scrapers. It's a seasonal item, but it's something that people have to use. You see, many people go wrong when they get promotional items that cost a little bit more than, you know, like a pen or something. They go wrong with it because they get things like a blanket or a towel or a shirt. Now, no offense to other people, but I don't know about you. I don't want to wear a Care Choice shirt when I'm out with my friends and family. I want to wear something that's nice. And Care Choice t-shirts or Care Choice towels on the beach doesn't really make a fashion statement. But I don't care what company I'm representing when I'm cleaning the snow off my car. As a matter of fact, when it comes to snow days, nobody wants to go to work anyway. Everybody remembers when they were a little girl or a little boy and it's snowing outside and you get off of school. Yay, snow day! Snow days suck when you're an adult because you have to go to work anyway, especially in the healthcare industry because there are people that need you. So it doesn't matter if there's six inches of snow or 18 inches of snow. You gotta clean off your car, you gotta suck it up, and you gotta get your butt to work, all right? I'm the guy that helps every single person get to work on a snow day. When John Doe Soul Shorker walks out and starts his car and he's freezing his butt off, he reaches into his back seat, he pulls out my ice scraper and cleans his car off. He's already thinking about me before he steps foot into his office. He gets to work. There's a care conference later on that day. Mrs. Smith is going home and she needs home care. Who do you think he's going to refer? The guy who helped him get to work that day with his ice scraper. These were so popular in 2006 that every single year since, in October, I had to order hundreds of these to give out to every one of my referral sources because come November, everybody had to have a Care Choice ice scraper. Great, great item. Now, if you happen to live in Florida or Texas or some southern part of the United States where it doesn't snow in the winter, get something else like maybe a... Um, like a, a sun visor for the car, or another great item is an umbrella. People don't care whose umbrella they're using, but when it's raining outside, they want to be protected, an umbrella. So something that they can use coming in and out of work is something that will make them think of you before they get there. I love ice scrapers. They're awesome. The final one I want to share with you is a clipboard. This is a game changer. I first gave out clipboards in 2007 to people because a social worker told me she wanted a clipboard. I said, okay, let's get them. If she wants them, I'm sure other people would want them. Now, a lot of people have clipboards, but I think they go wrong with the clipboards for two reasons. One, they get the plastic clip at the top. I don't like the plastic clip. I don't recommend it. It's not strong enough. They crack and break. And I've seen people get hurt from a clipboard with the plastic piece at the top. The other thing that people do wrong with the clipboards is they get the clipboard and they put their logo here. The problem with that is the only person who gets to see the logo is the social worker or the discharge planner or the person who's carrying the clipboard around. The reason why that's a problem is because if they're carrying your clipboard, they already know who you are, so it doesn't really work. So where do you want to put your logo? On the back side of the clipboard. Why? Because when I'm walk, I'm John Doe, social worker, walking around the hospital, walking around the subacute rehab center, and every person in that building sees me endorsing Care Choice. It is a subliminal message. I'm sitting there in morning meeting with my Care Choice pen and my Care Choice clipboard, and I'm taking notes. And the administrator and the therapist and everybody says, "Oh, that clipboard. Where did you get that? Oh, Steve gave it to me. Can he get one for me too?" Next time I come in there, boom, clipboards for everybody else. Now everybody in the building is walking with my clipboard, using it, and. It Every patient that's in the building gets to see my company's name before they're even recommended to me. So all of a sudden now they know the name when they get the referral. So now let's put it this way. Mrs. Smith is going home tomorrow. She needs home care. Her daughter is sitting across from me and I'm the social worker making the referral. Most social workers make referrals to three companies. So one, two, three. Here's three brochures that you can call. But there are a lot of social workers that want to be nice to everybody, so they do the worst thing possible, which is give out a list with 25 people on them. That doesn't help at all, but here's the 25 people that I recommend for your mother, Mrs. Smith. She's going to need home care. Give them a call. So now I'm sitting here. I'm the daughter, and I'm like, well, who am I going to call first? This list of 25 people, that's crazy. Ah, the social worker sitting across from me is holding Care Choice clipboard. She's holding a Care Choice pen. Heck, I'm holding a Care Choice pen. Care Choice is on here. I'm calling them first. It sends a subliminal message. It's, it's almost like I'm wearing a football jersey for the team that I represent. This person is endorsing Care Choice. So it makes sense to have the, the message on the back side of it and people can see it and this helps you get the business. This was such a game changer for us that in 2011 when we sold our company to a large corporation, we had to order clipboards right away to give out to all of our referral sources because they were walking 
walking around with the Care Choice one. So when they gave out that list or they gave out the brochures, they gave out the new company's information, but they were still sitting there with Care Choice and we weren't getting the referrals until we replaced the clipboards. It's that valuable. So what do I say to you at this point? Share your information. What was successful for you? What wasn't successful? Post it in the blog below. Comment. We love comments. Also, at Hurricane Marketing Boot Camp in January, we're going to go over promotional items. And not so much what items are, but rather how to give out the items so that this way you get remembered. It's all about creating a memory when you're giving it out. So this way when you're not around and the referral time comes, you're the person that's on their mind. So we'll go over that in January at Hurricane Marketing Boot Camp. So folks, have a great day. Happy hunting out there. God bless.